going through an explant surgery and all the preparation that's involved, the emotional and mental toll that knowing that we're gonna to have to go through one takes and the money that it costs to have one. Nobody wants to regret having an explant surgery, but there are some women who do. So inside of my Facebook group and a couple other very popular and engaging Facebook groups last week, I asked the question, did anybody have any regrets explanting? And if so, why? Like, was it because you explanted and your symptoms didn't go away? Or is it because of the way that you now look? I wanted to kind of really dig in and understand why some women had regrets. So I'm gonna take about 10 minutes of your time right now and address some of those things and hopefully help you out a little bit more emotionally and mentally with what's going on, put some things into perspective, and maybe even guide you in the right direction, especially if you're still not feeling good after your explant. And if we've never met before, or if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you found your way here. Um, I'm the founder of Size Happy and the admin of the best Facebook group on Facebook breast implant illness, rejuvenation, and education with Christina. I will link everything down below for you. So if you want to request to join the group, women only, you can do so. So last week when I made a post inside of my Facebook group and a few other Facebook groups that have a lot of engagement and interaction, you know, and I asked about, does anybody regret explanting? I will say that the vast majority of women who responded um, to my post said they do not regret explanting. That the only regret that they have is that they wish that they had explanted sooner. So that's great. Um, what I have come to find out is that a lot of women do end up feeling better after they explant. Now, I'm not gonna say everything's all rainbows and sunshines and everybody is happy with going through an explant surgery and explanting and all of that. So some women did mention that they didn't like the way that their breasts looked. Um, some women said that they regretted not getting a lift and some women regretted explanting because their symptoms didn't go away. And those were honestly like the three things that I expected women to mostly regret when it comes to explanting is like either their appearance or you know the expectation of their symptoms going away. Um, and I guess you could say that a lift, you know, that would probably have to do with appearance and everything like that. But the vast majority of women just said nothing. I have it all right here on, on Facebook. And I mean, no regrets, no regrets. I regret nothing. Um, some women said I even regret getting implants. So they didn't regret explanting, they just regretted they even got implants in the first place. So, okay, in this video, I really want to kind of, especially if you're regretting explanting right now, I think this video is mostly made for you, but I want to really just call back in a couple of things and a couple of key things. And this, this key thing that I'm gonna talk about right now was like one of the main factors of why I explanted and I was willing to take the risk. Like, let's face it, when we decide to explant, it's not guaranteed that we're gonna get better, right? It's just we're willing to take that risk because we see other women who are kind of experiencing the same cluster of symptoms and then we hear about their explant journey and we hear about things improving, right? So we're like, oh my gosh, we've tried everything. We've tried all the supplements. We've seen all the doctors and the specialists, right? We've, we've done the things, everything comes back normal or maybe we have autoimmune conditions now, right? And so we're willing to take that risk. And so one of the key reasons why I explanted and something that I, is I really gotta bring this up because it's so important to remember if you explanted and you're regretting it, is that these implants, all of them, saline, silicone, smooth, textured, small, big, doesn't matter the brand, whether it's Allergan or Mentor or Ideal, or there's a couple other ones out there now, they keep changing their names, but they're made up of chemicals and toxins, like neurotoxins, carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, they're horrible for our body. And they're made up of anywhere from six to a dozen heavy metals. 
They should not be inside of our body. And so if you explanted and you're regretting it, maybe because your symptoms haven't gone away yet, right? You got to remember like your symptoms now have a better chance of going away now that the implants are out of you and all of those toxins and those heavy metals are out of you. I want to ask you like, which body do you think would heal better? A body that has foreign objects in them that are full of chemicals and carcinogens and heavy metals or a body that's free from those things. A body that's free from those things has a better opportunity to heal. And so there's a video, it's called Having Realistic Expectations Post-Explant. There's that video that I would definitely recommend for you to watch after this one. Because I know that it can be very frustrating. We all expect that, that when we go through an explant surgery, we're gonna get better. That is like the main reason why we decide to go through an explant. We don't wanna go through an explant, none of us do. We don't wanna have a surgery, we don't wanna spend the money, we don't wanna go back to the body that we hated, like none of us want to explant, right? We're willing to take that risk. And I understand that sometimes there are those women who explant and they don't get better. And so I'll have another video, it's called 12 things that could be hindering your healing post explant. So if you explanted and you're like, I feel like I should be better by now, like what's going on? What, what should I be looking into? All of that. Um, there's that video and I wrote down five of like my top reasons. So maybe you have the MTHFR gene mutation. That is something that I would definitely look into if you explanted and you're not feeling better. I can definitely direct you on how to get that um, test done. It's the MTHFR gene mutation. If you do have that gene mutation, then your body has a harder time processing and eliminating toxins. So that could be one reason why you explanted and you're still not feeling good is because your body's just having a harder time processing and eliminating some toxins. It could also be from the Epstein-Barr virus, which I see a lot of women in this community have. And some of those symptoms actually can um, mimic breast implant illness symptoms. I myself just had a really bad Epstein-Barr virus flare at the beginning of this year. And I was very tired. I had a lot of brain fog. I had insomnia. I felt anxious. Um, I had heart palpitations. And those things are also breast implant illness symptoms. So if you're still experiencing some of those symptoms that I just mentioned, definitely go to your doctor and see if they can test you for the Epstein-Barr virus. Um, a lot of women have it and it is fairly easy to treat. So definitely look into that. Another thing that you know could be the reason why your symptoms aren't improving yet is because maybe you're high in heavy metals, like you have a lot of heavy metals in your body. So I would definitely get your heavy metals tested and kind of see what your levels are. And then if they're high, which most women who have breast implants, they are high. Um, then you could go through a detox. I have one available for you. It's called the BII Bridge. I talked about it in my last video, which is about detoxing. So just kind of go see that video as well. That'll answer a lot of questions about detoxing. Another thing, um, you could just really be needing like full on gut support, like helping with your gut because like 80% of your immune system lives in your gut and stems from your gut. So if your gut is just all out of whack and all out of check, that can affect your immune system. And if your immune system's affected, you could just be feeling really run down and everything like that. So that's another reason. And then another another reason, the fifth reason would be like just your mindset. And, you know, just being in the energy of worry and guilt and like frustration of why aren't I healing? Um, fast enough, like why am I still dealing with these symptoms instead of having just so much trust in, um, in your body and you know how fast she's able to heal and everything like that. So that would just be something that I would look into, look into that video, 12 things that could be hindering your healing post explant it's right here on my channel. I wanna kind of address when it comes to body image and appearance because this is another reason why women regret explanting. So maybe they do feel better. Like let's let's remember that's one of the main reasons why we explanted, right? We wanted to feel better. We wanted energy. We wanted to remember things. Um, we wanted to go on adventures again and just kind of like feel like ourself. 
um, possibly get off some of our medications and not have this hip joint pain and have like beautiful hair again. And like our vision is so clear. There's all these, we all have our different reasons for explanting and everything like that um, as far as our symptoms go. So if you are regarding explanting for the reason of like, they just don't look pretty, they're not like they used to be for whatever reason, that's gonna take a little bit more inner work because I like I just believe when it comes to body image, it's not your body that needs fixed, so to say, or like there's nothing wrong with your body. It's just how we think about our body. And I know just from growing up with MTV, growing up with magazines, with airbrushed women on the covers, now growing up with social media, we can really compare ourselves to other women, right? And there's just this thing that women with bigger breasts, I don't know, they're more attractive, they're more womanly, like they got a lot more opportunities, they got a lot more going on, like, okay, that's not necessarily the case. Oh, I mean, I could do a whole thing on body image. I actually have a video, I have a lot of videos on here on YouTube, but I have a video, I just posted two videos ago about breast positivity post-explant and just about loving and appreciating um, your breasts after you explant. And I did mention in that video, and I'll tell you here now, my breasts are very small. Uh, I can barely fill up an A cup. I am very, like I'm flat in the front, barely have anything. I have like a dip here, like when I bent over, I have dips, like they're not the prettiest of breasts, but at the same time, I don't give them attention. I don't have them tied to my confidence or my happiness at all. And I know you're like, okay, but that's you, like that's not me. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, if I can have small breasts and still like show up and wear cute things, there's really no reason why you can't. So I would really just explore, like who are you behind your breast size? Like you have so much more to offer this world than like how you look. I mean, I, I could go off on a tangent here, but I know that it's hard when you look in the mirror and you're comparing yourself to how you used to look. And especially like if you loved your breast, your breasts and you didn't want to explant, it was a really hard decision to explant and maybe you explanted and you feel better but it's like this whole adjusting to your new size. I know it's a lot. And I would be happy to just kind of have like a side conversation with you because I do know like everybody's so different. So please reach out to me, um, Christina at sizehappy.net or you can comment down below here or you can DM me on Facebook, whatever way you feel like reaching out. Um, I'm happy to talk with you if you're just really struggling with your appearance because I have helped quite a few women kind of get out of that funk of putting so much focus and attention and emphasis on their breast size and how they now look. And it's really affecting like their happiness and their confidence and how they're showing up in the world and what they're, you know, how they're dressing and where they're going and all of that stuff. So I can definitely help you with that. It's what size happy is all about. But in the meantime, really explore like happiness and confidence in your breast size and how those things are tying together because they shouldn't tie together at all. Again, it's society, it's social media, it's all of that that is going into our subconscious and telling us like, I need to look this part in order to wear those things and you know feel pretty and all of that. And that's honestly, it's just not the case. So, Whatever it may be, whatever your reason may be for regretting, I would love to hear down below if you regret explanting or not. And share it down below because other people are gonna be reading down in the comments and I know I would have loved to hear these stories of like, I don't regret it, I don't regret it. Like, yeah, my symptoms aren't completely gone yet, but I'm so glad I have these things out of me, they're toxic, all of that. I hope you got a little bit out of this video. If you definitely need any support, let me know. I have the BII Bridge to help with detox. I have the Size Happy Challenge to help just with body image and fitness and getting in shape and like looking good and all of that and feeling good. I'll see you on the next video.